All right. So today is December 1st. And I'm out doing some more gear testing. It's uh, 38 degrees according to my car when I was driving. Doesn't feel 38, feels warmer. Um, and let's see, I have my pack cover on because, because it was raining earlier, misting earlier. I have my umbrella out ready. Right now it's not raining. I'm also testing a new piece of gear, which is a, a lavalier mic, which is hooked to my phone. So, interested to see how the audio comes through on this. And that was kind of a pain too, because as soon as I put my pack on, I had it attached to my pack and the little foam windscreen came off immediately. So that's going to be an item that, which could be lost on the trail. And let's see. Might need to use a little tie wrap or something to tie that on tighter. And I was going to try my little Bluetooth selfie stick. And that proved to be kind of a pain to incorporate into my walking gear. I think I could have it work out. Mm. Somebody's burning a fire in their fireplace. It smells like a campfire out here. Ah, it smells so good. <laughs> Alright, so I will give you, here's my umbrella. So, my gossamer gear lightweight umbrella so anyways let's see kind of how how this walk goes today have my foot gear on and my gaiters so pretty much you wear everything when you're testing gear you wear everything that you're going to wear on the trail and my pack is fully loaded. Road noise. Pack's fully loaded with yeah, probably five days of food. It's pretty heavy. And I have almost two liters of water on me. Have my fuel. And my pack weighs about under 25 pounds with all that with everything so and I know I can light my food up a little bit the food I'm the food I have packed for my test walks are, are is pretty heavy so I think I can lighten that up and swap out some of the heavier stuff swap in some snacks protein bars probably have it be about the same weight so I'm looking at 22 to 25 pounds it looks like to me with all my gear so I'll be back with an update soon thanks for watching hi okay just stopped here for a second to show you my gear I have my pack cover on, you can see that. And uh, that's kind of what it looks like. It's a Z Packs cover. Kind of weird how it attaches. Uh, what I did was attach it to the carbon fiber supports on the pack that you bend down when you flex your pack. So that's how they attach at the top. And there's no drain hole at the bottom, which somebody told me there was a drain hole, but I don't see it. So if it gets wet, it'll, the water will collect at the bottom. All right, so 
I thought I would tell you what I'm wearing today as far as my shoes go. So beginning with bare feet, I put on my Injinji, I don't know what you call them, I guess, booties. I don't know, they just come up to your ankle, anklets maybe, but those go around your toes. And then on top of that, I have my darn tough compression hiking socks. And those go over your feet and then all the way up to just under your knees. And I feel like I need compression socks when I'm hiking. And I also have compression sleeves to wear at nighttime because when you've done a day of hiking, backpacking, your calf muscles uh, can kind of give you problems. So one of the causes is not drinking enough water. So you really have to hydrate and get those uh, salt replacement in your body as you go through the day and let's see also back to the feet also on my feet on my ankles I'm wearing uh, ankle supports because especially in the beginning uh, my ankles are probably not going to be super strong so I want to get used to hiking with all three pieces on my feet and then covering those are my ultra Lone Peak 4.0 trail runner shoes so that completes the feet and then for my hiking pants I have cool I think they're made in Austria or Switzerland, but they're KUHL. They're zip off mountain climbing pants. And those things are built like steel. Very, very good to hike in. And then if it's, when it gets really hot, I can either zip those off, they're zip off shorts, pants, or I have actually a pair of shorts that I can put on hike in so I'm sure that you'll see me hiking in shorts when it gets warmer out the good thing about the hiking pants is they protect your legs from getting scratched and they will be treated with permethrin so as it gets warmer and the ticks come out Supposedly those ticks do not like permethrin treated clothing. So that should help with that. A little bit of a problem that happens. All right, I'll bring you back out in a, in a few minutes. Well, there's something that really came in handy. <laughs> tell you what on the trail when you're on a trail you can just pretty much go anywhere but when you're walking like I am in a public area you have to be real careful what you do because you could be picked up by the police for violating city ordinances or whatever laws they have anyways came in handy I think I broke you out the last time I was hiking about in the same general area and I uh, hope the hope the microphone is working fine I actually attached it it's a lavalier mic condenser mic so there's no electricity required and it is attached to my backpack strap sternum strap 
so that's where I stuck it. And uh, let's say I might as well go over my upper layer. So road noise. So on the top part, I have a t-shirt, a polo shirt, and then my fleece, my hooded fleece, and then my puffy jacket is above that. So I'm perfectly warm. I'm actually too warm. So I can unzip my puffy and I can unzip the uh, top part of the fleece and I would still be warm. It's amazing how much heat you generate when you're hiking. So anyways, uh, boy, to me it feels like it's in the 40s. I still haven't even put my gloves on. Normally if it's in the 30s, I'd be wearing my gloves. But uh, didn't I have to break them out? So I hope you have a great day. And if you would like to see more videos like these or videos from me, Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And if you click on the little bell, that is the notification symbol. So once you click that one time, you will be notified via email or YouTube when I post new videos. So. I hope you had a great day, and until next time, I will say goodbye, and I'll say an early happy holidays, because we are only 25 days from Christmas. This is December 1st. I will video more later. <laughs>